，歡迎大家翻翻嚟 Learn with Tom Lee A Level Mathematics A Level 數學。今日我哋將會繼續第三課 Sequence and Series。今日嘅節數會係三點八節 Real Life of Sequence and Series。經過咗三點一至到三點七節，我哋知我哋好明白 Series 同埋 Sequence 係點樣形成。呢一節將會教大家點樣喺現實生活裏面將一啲例子變成一啲 sequence 同埋 series 去計算。睇睇定義先。You can model r e a l i z e situation with series. For example, if a person's salary increased by the same percentage every year, their salary each year would form a geometry sequence, and the amounts they has been paid in total over n years would be modeled. By the corresponding geometry series， 我哋將現實嘅例子，例如一個人嘅薪金，如果每一年佢都會加咗某一個 percent， 我哋可以將佢呢一個薪金變成一個 geometry 嘅 sequence。經過咗 n 年之後，佢究竟攞到幾多錢呢？我亦都可以用一個 geometry 嘅 series 去計算。睇睇個例子 ，Thomas starts a new business in year one。His profits will be twenty thousand. He predicts his profits to increase by five thousand each year, so that his profits in year two are modeled by twenty-five thousand. In year three, thirty thousand, and so on. He predicts this will continue until he reach annual profits of one hundred thousand. Ah, Thomas, 开始一个新嘅生意，喺第一年。佢就賺咗二萬蚊，佢預計到喺第二年嘅時候，佢會賺五千蚊每一年，所以喺第二年呢，佢應該有二萬五千蚊，第三年佢應該有三萬蚊，跟住都係咁樣落去啦。佢覺得佢呢個預測啦，將會繼續。直至到佢有十萬蚊為止，而家佢就將佢每年賺取嘅利潤啦，變成一個 model。Calculate the profits for Thomas business in the first twenty years。咁我哋要計算佢喺頭二十年究竟佢賺咗幾多錢。State one reason why this may not be a suitable model。B， 你講出個原因，呢、这個 model 唔一定係咁適合嘅。C，Thomas financial advisors。That the year's profits are likely to increase by five percent annually. Ah, Thomas, he 嗰個財務顧問話俾佢聽，佢每一年咧 business 咧應該有五個 percent 嘅增長。Using this model, calculate the profits for Thomas business in the first twenty years. 用呢個新嘅 model 咧，估計啊 Thomas 喺二十年後佢賺咗幾多錢。A part year one 個 profits 就係 twenty thousand. Year two profits twenty five thousand. Year three profits thirty thousand. 第一年二萬，第二年二萬五，第三年三萬。好明顯呢一個 arithmetic series A 等於二萬 ，common difference 就係五千，所以個 U N 咧就會係等於 A 加比 N 減一嘅 D， 十萬就會等於二萬加比 N 減一嘅五千，因為個 difference 係五千，咁我哋就會計到啦。n 係等於十七，即係十七年之後咧，佢就會有十萬蚊嘅 profit。如果你仲記得 arithmetic 嗰個 series 嘅話啦 ，s n 啦就會係等於 n 除二，二 a 加比 n 減一乘 d。咁我哋代翻個 a n 同埋 d 落去個式裏面 n 係十七 ，a 係二萬，而 d 係五千。代翻落呢條式，我哋會計到 s 十七啦。就會係一百零二萬，即係話十七年啦，佢總共賺咗一百零二萬。S 二十啦，就會係一百三十二萬。咁呢一個咧，就係、是、我哋用佢 predict 嘅 model 啦，每一年多五千蚊賺啦，然之後 predict 翻佢頭嗰二十年啦，佢就會賺咗一百三十二萬嘅。B part 呢個 model 唔一定會啱，原因就係佢每一年唔一定係賺多五千蚊嘅。我哋冇可能會 predict 得咁準，係賺多五千蚊，所以呢個 model 咧唔係太正確嘅。C part， 我哋用第二個 model 
，就係佢嗰個財務顧問俾佢個 model， 頭嗰年佢會賺二萬蚊，每一年啦佢就會多五個 percent， 即係 R 係一點零五，我哋代 S N 啦，等於 A R N 次方減一，除俾 R 減一，就會得出咗。二十年之後咧，佢就會賺咗六百六十萬一千三百一十九點零八，係佢二十年之後佢會賺到嘅錢。如果用嗰個財務顧問嘅 model， 我哋睇下第二個 modeling with series。A piece of A4 paper is fold in half repeatedly。我哋將將 A4 紙啦，係摺成一半，不停咁摺一半啦。The thickness of the A4 paper is 零點五 mm。A4 paper 啦，佢嗰個厚度啦係零點五 mm 嘅。Work out the thickness of the paper after four fold。如果我係摺四次之後啦，個 A4 paper 嘅厚度係幾多呢 w o r k out the thickness of the paper after twenty fold。摺咗二十次之後啦，個厚度又係幾多呢 s t a y one reason why this might be unrealistic model。C part 就係我哋要講出個原因，點解呢個 model 啦？唔係咁實際嘅，咁呢個 model 呢，你會睇到啦，佢係一個一變二，二變四，係咪？咁所以佢基本上係一個 geometric model， 而呢個 geometric model 啦 ，A 就係零點五 mm，R 咧就係二，咁 up to four fold 啦，你就要計 U 五係等於幾多 ？U 五就係零點五乘比二嘅四次方。如果仲記得個 formula，U 五就係等於 A R N 減一次方，咁 A 係零點五 ，R 就係二 ，N 就係五，五減一次方就係四次方，所以係八 mm。Up to twenty four 就係 U 廿一，就係零點五乘二嘅二十次方，就係、是、就係五十二萬四千二百八十八 mm。C part。It is impossible to fold the paper that many times, so the model is unrealistic. 原因呢個 model 唔可以再繼續落去，因為你一路接一路細嘅時候咧，你基本上係冇可能再接嘅，因為厚度啦，可能硬到你啊，係唔唔接到嘅。所以呢個 model 咧喺實際上啦，去到太多次數嘅話咧，係未必會 work 嘅。第三同埋第四條，我將會喺紙張上高同大家一齊去做嘅。第三條例子。An investor puts four thousand pounds in an account every month. Thereafter, she deposits another two hundred pounds. How much money in total will she have invested at the start of the tenth month and at the start of the nth month? 一個投資者一開頭咧就係擺咗四千磅落個 account 度，每個月就再擺多二百磅落去個 account 裏邊。而家問經過咗十個月之後，佢一共擺咗幾多磅去投資呢？另外，經過咗 N 咁多個月之後，佢一共擺咗幾多磅落去投資呢？我哋計咗 A part 先 ，A part from the above information。Since she deposit a fixed amount of two hundred pounds each month, this is an arithmetics. Sequence of a equal to four thousand pound, d equal to two hundred pound. For the start of tenth month, 第十个月，我哋要揾嘅就系 U N 系等于 A 加比 N 减一。個 D， 而 A 係四千 ，D 係二百，而 N 係等於十。我將呢三個數字啊，再代入呢條式裏邊，就係、是、U 十啦，係等於四千加比十減一係九啦，乘比二百，即係等於四千加比一千八百。
，亦即係等於五千八百。即係經過咗十個月之後啦，佢一共係擺咗五千八百蚊落去投資嘅。At the start of M one 啦，就係 M 咁多個月啦。At the start of M month， 所以個 A 啦係等於四千啦 ，D 啦係等於二百啦，今次個 N 啦係等於 M。我係照代翻落去，我係計翻就係 U of M 咯，係等於 A 加比 M 減一個 D。A 就係四千啦 ，D 就係二百啦 ，M 減一就照寫翻 M 減一咯，因為我哋唔知道 M 係幾多，即係等於三千八百加比二百個 M， 咁呢條就係 B 嘅答案啦。第四條 ，A car depreciate in values by fifteen percent a year after three years, it is worth Eleven thousand and fifty-four point two five pound. What was the car's initial price? When will the car's value first be less than five thousand pound? 而家有一架車啦，佢一路咁樣折舊，每年嘅折舊率啦係十五個 percent。跟住經過咗三年之後，佢就剩翻一萬一千零五十四點二五磅。而家就問佢個車原本嘅價錢係幾多錢？同埋，當佢個車一路咁 depreciate 落去啦，最快喺幾多年之後啦，佢個車係啱啱好細過五千磅。咁我哋計 A 個 part 先 ，A the depreciation 個折舊率咯 ，of the car's values is a geometric series with 嗱，呢個係一個 geometric series 啦，幾何嘅級數，原因就係一路咁乘一個 R 啦，嗰個 R 咧就係 depreciate 咗十五個 percent， 咁 depreciate 咗十五個 percent 啦，即係剩翻原本價錢嘅八十五個 percent， 所以 A 啦 equal to A， 因為我哋唔知道原本係幾多錢嘅 ，R 啦 equal to point eighty five，equal point eighty five 係 equal to eighty five percent，equal to one hundred percent。Minus fifteen percent depreciation. If after three years, it is worth eleven thousand and fifty-four point two five pound. Thus, U four equal to A R four minus one. 嗱，呢度你記住係 U 四啊，因為經過咗三年，即係 U 四唔係 U 三啊，啊 equal to point eighty five power three type A equal to eleven thousand and fifty four point two five. So A equal to eleven thousand and fifty four point two five divided by point eighty five to the power of three and equal to eleven thousand. And fifty-four point two five divided by point six one four one two five. So the initial price of the car is eighteen thousand pound. B the part we find n where u n less than five thousand pound. So the formula of u n equal to a r n minus one. Is less than five thousand. So eighty thousand is the initial price a that point eighty five to the power n minus one less than five thousand. So it's point eighty five to the power of n minus one less than five over eighteen, and n minus one is greater than log. Five over eighteen divided by log point eighty five. Why is we change it to greater than? Because we know that since log point eighty five is less than zero, so if we divide an inequality by less than zero by a negative number, you, we have to change the size of the inequality. So we got n greater than log five over eighteen. 
divide by log 0.85 plus 1 and we get n is greater than 8.8817 so n should be equal to 9. If we want to check this value is it right or wrong so we put u9 equal to 8 oh, to the power of 8 so 18,000 point 85 to the power of 8 and equal to 4,904.83, so it's less than 5,000. But if we change it to U8, so we got AR7 equal to 18,000.85 to the power 7, we got 5,770.39. This one is greater than 5,000. And then we get to the ninth year, the depreciation of the car and make the car's values less than 5,000. So the answer is nine years. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我這個video 如果你希望你的mathematics 和你的英文是更加好的話你想要一個private tutor 你可以隨時contact我的 令到你的DSC exam 或者你想考SAT 你也可以contact我 因為我也有一些私人的補習在這兩方面多謝大家 Thank you Bye bye Muchas gracias